All right, welcome back everybody. Today we've got a brand new machine. I had a pretty heavy hand in the, in the development of this unit. This is our new machine on chassis cart 313 PI. So if you follow along with our numbering system, final three means it is a pulse MIG. The PI means it's gonna be a single pulse. So this is a roll around, like traditional style roll around uh, shop MIG machine that is single pulse capable. Um, with this unit, we kind of figured this would be more of a dedicated MIG unit for a shop. So we did not include the lift TIG function on it like the other Cyclones. So it is going to be a, a purely a MIG, single pulse MIG and stick machine only. Um, but still super capable, 300 amps, um, really good for if you're running aluminum, silicon bronze, which I've actually ran quite a bit with this machine already. Um, but yeah, we'll get through, we'll turn this thing on, we'll run through the menu, kind of show you what everything um, is on this unit. And then we'll do a little, just a little sample welding, just to kind of take a tickle into it, put our toes in the water, and then we'll follow up with some, some deeper, uh, deeper dives into the processes. <laughs> All right, so now we got the machine on, get ready to run through the menu. But one of the key features with this unit, is you can see, we've got kind of a, a roll cage around the actual power unit itself. So when you are rolling this around your shop, around projects, instead of banging into the machine and either breaking the bezel or you know knocking a connection loose on the front of the panel, it does have this roll cage around it to help protect the machine. So that was one thing that we were really focused on was making the machine uh, more practical, especially in a, in a roll around chassis. So bottle racks built into the back of the actual roll cage instead of being built into the back of the machine. So it's a lot more stable bottle rack. Um, I don't have the hooks on here right now, but we will have lead holders on the side of the machine that bolt to the cage. Uh, and there is a little gun holder. You can't see it because it's back here, but there is a little gun holder on the side of the machine as well that bolts to the side. So when you are uh, at rest, you can put the gun on the side of the machine and have it all you know nice and tucked away so the, the gun does not flopping off the table and getting broken or rolled over or something like that. So uh, really tried to focus on making this as convenient as possible uh, in a shop environment and also uh, adding some, some nice features to the unit that you don't typically uh, see on other roll around MIGs. So super, super nice little package we have here. Let's get to the menu. So standard menu for the Cyclones. Um, this does have the new save and recall feature. So if you press the save recall, it's going to come up with your, your already pre-programmed uh, memory. We'll go back home in just a second. So quick press goes to recall, a long press, five seconds. You'll see it now says save up here. So this is where we can actually select which program we want to alter. So we can scroll through. So we want to select number three. You can see it's locked. We hit power set, it'll unlock it. And we could select it from there, but we can change that. We can custom name it now too. So just like the other Cyclones um, in this lineup, fully customizable program name. So you can name it eighth inch MIG, eighth inch aluminum, 316th stainless, uh, whatever you want to name it. Um, yeah, so now you got full custom programming. So no more keeping a cheat sheet next to the machine or in the wire cabinet of what program one is, what program two is, you can custom name them just like the other Cyclones. Um, so getting on to our actual process selection, um, you know, we've got our argon CO2 mixes. We've got our 100% uh, CO2. We do have our synergic pulse mode. Um, and in the pulse mode, you can select your wire type, whether it's a steel wire, an aluminum wire, stainless wire. Uh, you select your wire size, your wire type, and your material for the power set mode, and it'll spit out a pretty decent uh, pulse program for you with the selectable arc trim. So the arc trim is already adjusted per your wire size and the wire type. So it makes it super easy to set up pulse. Of course, you take it off power set and you can fully customize the entire menu that way as well. If you're not running pulse, if you are running some super thick aluminum, I wouldn't do this for anything under quarter inch, but even like half inch aluminum would be kind of where I would just run standard aluminum on. Um, it does have an aluminum mode. We do have a stainless mode as well as a standard flux core mode, no gas. 
This does have a dual shield mode as well. And of course, got a DC stick mode. So fully, fully customizable stick mode, does run 6010. So you can select your rod, you have anti-stick, you have the voltage reduction. Uh, you can actually run a remote with this. So if you did want to run a foot pedal or like a trigger switch uh, to control amperage while you're welding, that is possible on this machine as well. Of course, arc force, hot start, and your, your hot start timing. So full feature stick machine, basically anything you'd ever want for a stick unit, this still has. So super, super capable on the stick side. We'll run back through. So of course, you know, our argon CO2 mixes, you've got burn back inductance, you've got a spot, uh, spot timer. We can also, one of the features we've added with the new cyclones with the LCDs is we can select our units so you can have metric or the imperial units. So for those of you that aren't in the US, Canada, Australia, that you are using metric, we've added that to the machine as well to make the, uh, the conversions a little bit easier for you. Of course, pre-flow, post-flow, start ending, ending wire feed speed, upslope and downslope. This machine also does have an easy run-in feature. So to prevent popping right at the start, you can turn that easy run in on and the machine is then sensing when you're pulling the trigger and the time before it actually creates an arc it's controlling that run in speed to prevent popping um, so super smooth starts um, just a really advanced machine as far as as far as mig goes all right so that pretty much covers the argon co2 side i do want to show you guys the numbers are currently in white so that's going to show that we are in a short circuit transfer as we switch to our CO2, we've got our voltage high. You can see these numbers actually turn yellow. So that yellow indicates that we're going to be closer to spray or in a spray uh, spray mode. So you want to make sure that you would have the proper gas. So obviously uh, running, this is on C100, but if we're on the argon CO2 mixes, now that we're getting into a spray mode, we wanna make sure that we're running like a 98.2 or a C10 gas and not C25. Uh, and that, so that's a nice kind of a dummy light, so to speak, that, hey, if you're running C25, you're getting out of range of your gas and you need to look at um, either changing what you're doing or changing the process. So back to CO2. Uh, one thing we didn't cover on the argon side is this machine is spool and push pull gun ready um, and with our new spool and push pull guns you can actually adjust your wire feed speed from the gun so this machine is a, is uh, capable of running those potentiometers in the gun and making the adjustments on the machine without having to come back to it um, and of course that's just right down here we scroll down to the bottom of the menu we come over so we've got our torch selection standard spool gun push pull and again, it's just using that MTS style connection. So if you do have an older style uh, push pull or spool gun, it has like the two pin or even like the TIG connection, this is gonna be using the, the MTS style uh, pin connection. Let's go ahead and take that back off a of pool so I don't forget it later. So back to standard. And again, the same thing as we switch to the Synergic Pulse, same thing, we've got our torch selection, we've got our wire type. So when we are selecting pulse, um, we can select our wire type. That does also help us set up for if we wanna go to the power set mode, we don't have to reset that. Everything's already pulling up, ready to go. So super convenient, makes it really, really easy to set this machine up. And in the past, we've had some complaints about our power set mode being a little, a little off. Um, I personally put about three months of work into dialing in the new power set mode on all the cyclones. So the power set mode on these new units is way more dialed. It's a lot closer. Previously, they were a little hot. We kind of aired on the, the hot side. We figured if someone was using the power set that maybe they weren't as experienced so that running a little bit hotter would ensure that they were getting a good weld and not having a bunch of, uh, you know, a bunch of cold welds. So. We've gone back with the Cyclone, the new updates with the LCDs and really fine tune that power set mode to where it's pretty much non adjust. You know, you, you don't have to adjust it much, you know, maybe a little bit here and there if you have a gap or a different fit up, but the power set mode's pretty dialed on these units. Uh, of course, 
we were saying it's got a full aluminum mode. Now this is going to be non-pulse when you go to when you go out of the synergic pulse to the aluminum. It's going to be non-pulse. So again, it's for thicker material. Uh, I would say quarter inch and above. You're not going to be able to really run this on eighth inch unless you're just blazing fast and you don't really care about your bead appearance too much because it'll be that real ropey bead. Of course, again, stainless steel, it's going to be the same as our argon and CO2 mixes, all the same features. Um, not a whole lot extra there. Flux core, of course, you, your wire diameter, we've got it in metric at the moment. So again, we can go down, change that back to imperial. But pretty simple there on the flux core side. Of course, flux core with gas, same exact thing. Uh, all, your, all your standard functions that you'd want, um, inductance, your burn back, post flow, pre flow, your wire diameter, material thickness, and then of course your torch selection. And then finally, to the DC stick again, all your full functions on DC stick. So we'll go ahead and set up real quick. We'll make a couple just short runs uh, just to have some welding in a, a welder video, uh, but we'll take a deeper dive later on onto each process and really show you guys how this thing can perform. All right, magic of a uh, camera, we've got PPE on. So we are set on our Argon CO2 mixes. We're running C10 because uh, we are going to get ready right after this. We're going to film a spray video. Um, but yeah, just running C10, uh, eighth inch material, 035 wire, super basic setup, about 18 volts. So we'll tack these up. I'm just make a quick run just to show you guys how smooth this thing is. And then we'll wrap it up and we'll start filming another video for next week. So let's run this real quick. We'll start out doing a little drag. And now we'll go to a push. Yeah, my push was a little off on my angle, but super clean run, no spatter. We've got our inductance set right to 60%, which is actually where power set calls it for is right at 60%. But yeah, nice clean run, no spatter, run smooth guys. So if you're looking for a roll around shop MIG, you are interested in maybe having some single pulse capabilities for doing some spray mild steel, uh, getting into stainless MIG or even doing some aluminum MIG which we can run through the standard whip, even though this thing is spool and push pull gun ready. Um, that single pulse helps out a lot, especially on aluminum. So if you're looking for a roll around MIG, check out the 313 PI. We'll see you guys next week.